Hey everybody, this is James with Galfer, and today we are going to talk about rotors, fixed and floating. So a lot to go over, but let's go. When you are shopping for rotors, you will find two distinct types of rotors, fixed and floating. Let's take a moment to discuss each one. Fixed rotors are just that, fixed. They are made of one solid piece of steel, cut or stamped into a disc and mounted to the wheel. This is the most common type of rotor, and unless you have a higher end or performance oriented motorcycle, chances are the bike came stocked with fixed rotors. Floating rotors are called floating rotors because they actually float. They are made out of several different components. With the rotor blade, the friction surface attached to the carrier, the part that attaches to the wheel. Now let's take a closer look at each of these types of rotors so you can understand the benefits of each and decide which one is right for you. So why floating rotors? We'll give you three good reasons and the first one is performance. If you're looking for more stopping power, then floating rotors are for you. When you grab the brake lever and it creates a hydraulic force that squeezes the brake pad onto the brake rotor. A floating rotor has the ability to conform to the brake pad, giving maximum rotor to pad contact. This happens even when a relatively small amount of force is applied. Floating motorcycle rotors often lead to more consistent and predictable braking. Your perfect bike isn't perfect. Every part of a motorcycle is built within a set of manufacturing tolerances. For something like a piston, it might only be plus or minus a thousandth of an inch. And other components, like the seat foam, might be more significant. The brake rotor is attached to the wheel. The wheel is connected to the forks via the axle. And the forks are the mounting point for the calipers. Those calipers might have an adapter attached to the forks. And then you have brake pads inside of the caliper. That is potentially seven different parts, and it could be as many as 14 if you have dual disc setup. With all those potential variants, it is almost impossible for the rotor and pads to make maximum contact. Floating rotors allow some amount of travel from the rotor blade to the center carrier. This means that when the pad squeezes to the rotor, the rotor will automatically center inside of the pads, providing the highest amount of friction contact. Next, Lower average braking temperatures. Heat is the main enemy of a braking system. Too much heat will start reducing braking performance as the rotor and brake pad compounds get softer. A floating rotor isolates the heat buildup to the friction blade, which is where we want it, because the rotor blade is specifically designed to get rid of the heat as fast as possible. Keeping the heat isolated also reduces the likelihood of having heat soaked rotors where they get so hot that the only way to get them back to safe temp is to stop riding. And when you are out having fun or out on the track, the last thing you want to do is to have to hop off your bike because the brakes are too hot. Okay, now that we understand the advantages of the floating rotors, let's talk about fixed rotors. First up is cost. The cost difference between a floating motorcycle rotor and a fixed rotor can be significant. This is mostly because they cost less to manufacture and require fewer parts. But just because they cost less does not mean they won't perform well. Let's be clear, fixed rotors work well. A lot of today's motorcycles come stock with fixed rotors and even upgrading from stock to aftermarket fixed rotors can improve your bike's performance significantly. More on that in a second. All right, the next reason is that fixed rotors have no moving parts. 2020 outdoor motocross champion Zach Osborne uses a fixed rotor on his motorcycle in part because in the outdoor series, track conditions can be extreme. A floating rotor is made of a rotor blade, carrier, buttons with a series of specialty washers, while a fixed rotor is made out of one piece of steel. That's it. Mud, dirt, sand, and any other type of debris can get into a floating rotor's buttons and compromise the effectiveness of the floating system. This can't happen with fixed rotors because it's just one piece of steel. Fixed rotors can keep your confidence high as your riding conditions deteriorate. Lastly, fixed rotors can still be an upgrade in performance. There are plenty of bikes that leave the factory with fixed rotors on them. Unfortunately, they were likely produced in massive quantities by the lowest bidder using the cheapest raw materials and manufacturing processes. The type of steel 
whether the rotors were stamped or cut, and how they were finished matters. For example, at Galfer, we use our own proprietary 420 stainless steel alloy, and that is the best foundation we can start with. That high quality steel is laser cut, heat treated, and then dual parallel disc ground to ensure uniformity and flatness. All of those components come together to create a substantial upgrade over standard fixed rotors.